What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another round on Titanium. If you're watching and like the content and feel like helping support the channel, please drop a like, or even better, subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate it. It would help YouTube recognize that the content is valuable. So thank you. Appreciate the support. Today, we are continuing our talk on Titanium with perhaps the most popular of the alloy grades, 6AL4V and 6AL4V Eli. As the name suggests, the nominal, the nominal composition is 6% aluminum and 4% vanadium, thus 6AL, 6 aluminum, 4V, 4 vanadium. There we go. Now, Eli, what does that mean, right? ELI, extra, low, interstitial. Probably guessed it, didn't you? So, extra, low, interstitial. Easy enough, right? Now, the extra low interstitial variant is used for enhanced fracture toughness characteristics. This combination of alloying elements results in a mixed structure of both alpha and beta constituents. It can be used either in the annealed condition or the heat treated conditions to develop additional strength or fracture toughness characteristics. General corrosion resistance is excellent, and this alloy is highly resistant to sea water corrosion. Applications include aerospace structural and engine components, chemical processing equipment, pressure vessels, medical instruments, and prosthetic implants. Is titanium 6AL4V magnetic? Mm. 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 No, doesn't seem to be magnetic. And this happens to be 2.5 6AL4V Eli. Okay. Now, what do we know? We know the density is 0 0.160 pounds per cubic inch. The mean coefficient of thermal expansion from 70 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit is 5 micro inch per inch per degree Fahrenheit. Beta transis is 1800 to 1850 degrees Fahrenheit. And now, for a little cursory glance at some chemistry. For any of you that want a deeper dive, please head over to the link that I have shared in the description and you can get all the chemistry you need and you could read the full transcript for any of you that would rather read than watch or listen. And so now, chemistry. And we got both, 6AL4V and the Eli. Check it out. We've got a different UNS code. We've got a different spec, but they're very similar. Again, if you need more information, head over to the link in the description. For now, that's it. What else we got? The mechanical properties vary by section, thickness, heat treatment, and prior thermomechanical history. 6AL4V alloy has numerous ASTM, ASME, AMS, and MIL specifications that vary by product form. These specifications and any part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today. And so we, as we have told you many, 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 many times before, many, many times before. What do we say? Huh? Check. Hmm? So this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Appreciate you guys watching. For more information on Titanium, which Michelin Metals is a distributor and supplier of Titanium, check the website, michelinmetals.com. Now, if you made it this far and have not subscribed, please consider doing so now. If you missed last week's video, there it is. Okay? Appreciate it. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. Thanks for watching. I'm out.